Good morning. Let's have a look at our math worksheet for today. We have got some pieces over here on the left that we can drag and drop to help solve problems over here. And anywhere that we have a blue question mark, we should already have an answer. So let's go through the problems together. If you had 21 cents in your pocket, then got 53 cents more, how much money would you have? Well, I have a clue here. That word more, it means I got some more. That means we are adding. So I am going to add 21 cents plus 53 cents and that is going to equal 74 cents. It's important that we put cents here because otherwise we don't know 74 what? Could it be 74 bugs? Could it be 74 reals? Could it be 74 pesos? Could it be 74 dollars? No, it's 74 cents. Now we're going to come down to the next uh, problem. 17 take away 5, that's 12. 14 take away 7 is 7, 3 plus 16 is 19, and 7 plus 12 is also 19. Next we're going to come down here and continue these counts, and it looks like we might be counting by tens. I can see each one of these numbers has a zero on the end. Let's double check that. 90, 100, yes we did add 10, and we're going to add another 10 to get to 110. 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, and 180. Remember we always like to check our work and make sure so let's just count all the way through. It's very simple to do that and very quick to make sure we got everything right. 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180. Yes, that sounds wonderful. Our next question is to make a line plot. So show the height of these books on the line plot. And I see, looks like I've got nine sizes that I'm going to put down here on height of books in inches. So seven inches. I'm going to come over here and grab different colored blocks to work with. Nine inches is next. So I'm going to make sure I put that on the 9, 12 inches, drag and drop a block over here onto the 12, 8 inches, right here, 8 inches again, 11 inches, 10 inches, 12 inches, and 8 inches. Now I'm going to double check my work here. I saw that I had 9 sizes to put on my uh, line plot. So let's make sure that I have 9 answers here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's good. What is the most common size? Well, it looks like 8. And we know a unit of measure is inches. So 8 inches. I could write the word inches out or I can use this little mark to show inches. Those two little lines together can be a quotation mark but they can also mean inches. Let's come over to our next problem. How many blocks? I've got groups of hundreds, groups of tens, and groups of ones. So if I come over here and look at my question, how many groups of a hundred? One. How many groups of ten? One, two, three, four, five, six groups of ten and seven groups of one. So my answer is 167. And to double check my work, I'm going to count by hundreds, then change over and add on by tens, and then change over and add on by ones. So 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 161, 162, 163, 164, 165, 166, 167, and that is the answer I've written here. So yes, I've checked my work and it is correct. Next I need to show 630 on the clock. So I'm going to come over here on the side and grab hands for the clock. I like to put the minutes on first because where the minutes are actually affects where you put the mark for the hour. So I know when it's 30 minutes after the hour my hand goes straight down or if I forget that I can always count by fives around the clock 
and figure out where 30 minutes comes. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There's my 30 minutes. Now I need to make sure I put in my hour, 6.30. And I'm going to bring this over here, my little hand. I don't want it to point straight down at the 6 because it's no longer 6 o'clock. It's halfway between 6 o'clock and 7 o'clock. So my hour hand needs to point in between the 6 and the 7. And I need to make sure that it's much shorter than the minutes hand. So here is 6.30 on my clock. My next question is, where is 89 on the number line? So I see 80, I see 90, and I know that 89 is one space before 90. And I have something over on the side I can use to mark that. And right, let's make sure I got it right. Yes, 89. And then I've got some larger math problems down here. We're taking tens or adding tens. 126 take away 10. Well, that means I'm going to take one away from this tens column. So where it's got two tens here, it's going to be one ten. So it's going to be one, one, six. And that makes sense. If you think about 116 plus 10 more would make 126. Let's have a look at this question. 175 plus 10 more. So here's my tens column in the middle where I've got the numeral seven. And I need to add one more group of 10 there. So that will become an 8. So my answer is 185. Over here we have 95 plus 10. And that's an interesting one because when we add another group of 10 to 9, we get 10 groups of 10. So we have 105. Last problem, 199 take away 10. Well, we're going to move away 110 from this center column here where the tens column is. And instead of being nine groups of 10 there, it will be eight. So our answer will be 189. Have a wonderful day. Bye.